Well, is one of your New Year's resolutions not to put off those important self-care appointments for women? Screening for cervical cancer is something that you do not want to ignore. 13,000 women are diagnosed each year, and this is preventable. Joining me from SLU Cares SSM Health at St. Mary's Hospital, Dr. Melissa Schwartz, and good morning to you. Good morning. Great time for a reminder. Of course, the new year, but this is also Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. Yes. Yeah. How is this preventable? So, um, actually, most uh, cervical cancers are due to the HPV virus, mm -hmm. and um, we actually have vaccinations um, that can actually prevent this from occurring. Um, we additionally have screening tests and tools that include pap smears mm -hmm. as well as HPV testing um, that can detect early precancerous lesions and prevent them from becoming cancer. When should girls get vaccinated? Um, girls and boys actually can mm -hmm. be vaccinated starting at 11 years old. 11 years and they've actually extended that age for a while it was more focusing on girls but now it goes even higher in age. Exactly yeah it was initially for just girls now mm -hmm. it's gone to boys as well mm -hmm. and um, initially it was just to 26 years old and now the FDA is pushed it back to 45 years old. Yeah, when you think cervical cancer, we were saying, well, why does my son have to get it? A um, number of reasons. Mm -hmm. um, one, it can protect women, his, the partners right. that he's potentially with, and also it helps prevent other HPV-related cancers, mm -hmm. are, are, penile are, cancer. Absolutely, like yeah. Are there any side effects to the HPV vaccine? Um, not common side effects, no. It's usually very well tolerated. And I know that at first the dosage was two or three times, and they're actually changing that as well, right? They are. So depending on what age you are when you get the vaccination, it's either two or three injections. All right. Do you recommend this for women even after maybe they've moved into menopause? Um, I would not recommend it okay. quickly at that point because they've probably been exposed to the HPV um, strains that the vaccine targets. Mm -hmm. Is there ways if you have HPV to get rid of it, or is it always with you? So it, with time, most women actually mm -hmm. are able to suppress and um, the virus and get rid of the virus, eliminate it with their own body's immune system. Mm -hmm. um, and some women are not able to do that, and that's the reason why we have screening, um, so that yeah. we can detect any early lesions um, and prevent them yeah. from turning to cancer. So important to get those screenings. All right, thank you so much. We appreciate your time this morning. Dr. Melissa Schwartz, and you can find her as well at SSM Health St. Mary's Hospital. We also have a link from you, for you on our website, fox2now.com.